we've taken a look at single covalent bonds where two electrons are shared between atoms. Covalent bonds can also be double and triple bonds where four and six electrons are shared respectively. So let's take a look at double bonds and we're going to use oxygen as our example. So oxygen has six valence electrons, two pairs and two unpaired electrons. If we form a single bond between oxygen, we still have an unpaired electron on each oxygen and each oxygen hasn't fulfilled the octet rule. If we count the number of electrons around oxygen after the single bond is formed, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it only has seven. So to get um, an octet around the oxygen and to pair this unpaired electron, each unpaired electron on the oxygen forms another bond. And then we have four electrons that are being shared between the oxygen. And the octet rule is fulfilled. So if we count the number of electrons around each oxygen, I'll just count one and it'll be the same for both. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember the electrons that are bonding count for both atoms. And there we have a double covalent bond. Now we also have triple bonds. And we'll use nitrogen as our example. Nitrogen is in family 5A and it has five valence electrons. So if it forms a bond between, if each nitrogen forms a bond with the other nitrogen, um, we still have two unpaired electrons and the octet rule has not been fulfilled. So if we form another bond between an unpaired electron on each nitrogen, we still have an unpaired electron on each nitrogen and the octet rule hasn't been fulfilled. At this point, there's seven electrons on each nitrogen. If we form a triple bond, so bring this unpaired electron over and this unpaired electron over, then we have fulfilled the octet rule. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons around each nitrogen. So double and triple bonds occur when you have to share more to fulfill the octet rule for each atom. And um, double, triple, and single bonds are different in terms of their bond length and their bond energy. Bond length is determined by the distance between the two nuclei involved in the bonding, and bond energy is the minimum energy required to break that bond. So single bonds are the longest, double bonds are shorter, and triple bonds are the shortest. Triple bonds are also the strongest, so they have the most bond energy, energy, the most energy is required to break them. Double bonds um, have greater bond energy than single bonds, less than triple bonds, and single bonds are the weakest, meaning the least amount of energy is required to break them.